it's not too late to start. But start what exactly? It could be anything. It could be starting and learning a brand new instrument, a brand new hobby, whatever it is changes from person to person. But we all have that one thing that we've always wanted to do. But for some reason, we just never seem to take that first step. So we end up delaying it. And instead, we choose to daydream about the glory behind how awesome it would be if we finally achieved whatever it is. For years, I told myself I was going to make videos online and be creative and use it as an outlet for how I really feel on the inside. And I hope that one day I would be able to be creative full time and just be able to sustain myself and make a living off of it. And yeah, there were actually moments where I made an effort to do this, but everything always felt short because I was never consistent. All I did was try for a little bit, and when I failed and didn't get the instant results that I wanted, I gave up every single time. The likelihood of having immediate success in any of it was close to zero. So I'm not even sure why I set myself up with that level of expectation to begin with, because it was being completely unrealistic. I wasn't living in reality. Until this past November, when I suddenly found myself unemployed. In such a horrible job market, I remember telling my girlfriend, I'm going to find a job so that I have time after work to make videos. And I'll never forget how she called me out. She said, you always say you're going to do this, but I've never seen you do it consistently. What makes this time different? I don't think you're going to do it. That cut obviously very deep and straight to the heart. And it hurt me a lot, not because she was trying to be extremely mean or anything. It was simply because I knew deep down that she was right. And whatever the hell excuses I had, which is all, all for the sake of trying to save myself from, from the pain of not doing the damn thing. I made every excuse that I could for years. I was tired. There was too much work I had to do. I didn't have the energy. I didn't feel creative. Like there was an endless amount of excuses on why I couldn't or I shouldn't do it. All humans do that. We do that to protect ourselves because we're afraid of the potential of failure. That this dream and this daydream that we've been holding so near and dear to our hearts may not pan out in the romanticized way that we we have in our heads because let's be honest here failing at something that you've always wanted is fucking scary it's a horrible and scary uncomfortable idea in my case my biggest and most common excuse was i don't have enough time well when i was unemployed i had nothing but time and after being called out like that, I knew that if I didn't make videos, I would feel like a bullshitter and a liar for the rest of my life. And that was just something that I did not want to live with. That's not a kind of regret that I would ever want to have. The regret of not knowing what would have been if I actually tried. And of course, I knew I wasn't going to get paid off of any of the videos that I made. But honestly, it was... It was all just practice, right? Every video was practice and an opportunity to get better and better. So that's kind of how I looked at it as an opportunity to learn and develop myself as a person, but also mainly to, <laughs> to prove my girlfriend wrong. And I'm happy to say I've been making and posting these videos for almost six months now, and that's the most consistent I have ever been with this. And I dare say I have some mild traction. There's about 2,000 of you guys now fully subscribed to the channel, which I appreciate every single one of you, by the way. And for me, it was like, wow, I never thought this would be possible. And when I think about it, 2,000 people in a room watching your videos and saying, man, I like this enough to follow this guy. I mean, subscribe to this guy. That, my mind can't even comprehend that to be honest lesson i learned is that trying the thing is really worth trying because actually doing it and putting in the effort has shown me that i want to do this this is what i want to do for the rest of my life i want to make these videos it helps me be me and in an alternate universe where i 
end up not liking this, well, I also got something out of that. I would have learned that maybe this wasn't for me and that although I had romanticized and daydreamed about this, it's better to know now that this wasn't for me so that I can move on and do something else. Making these videos and being vulnerable and putting myself out there is hard. And as corny and cliche as it sounds, what they say is true. There is beauty in the struggle. And the more and more I struggle, the more and more I fall in love with this. In fact, I feel like life has become more romantic for me since doing this. Naturally, I'm a pessimist, but I find myself falling in love with failing at new things more and more and more because it's an opportunity for me to get better and learn every single time. And every time I post, it's not just an opportunity to grow creatively, but also mentally as well. It allows me to be a better communicator and to learn how to share my thoughts and ideas in a more concise way, one that people can actually relate to. And to be honest, I don't know where I would be if my girlfriend never called me out on this because frankly, I probably wouldn't have made any videos. I probably would have just moved on along and wondered, what if I did, right? What if? And if you've watched this video up to this entire point, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I'm gonna call you out too. Why aren't you doing that thing you said you've always wanted to do?